Hello, I'm Tiffany here with Andra, owner of the New York Sharks. How do you feel about this year, 2011, starting the new season with new coaching staff? How do you feel about this year? Uh, I'm very excited about this season. I feel a lot of positive energy. Um, it's, a lot of things are the same, but yet things are different, if that makes any sense. And those that are the same are good, and those that are different are bringing this, this real positive energy out. And um, I, think, uh, I, I think that was lacking in years past, and I think this is, this is going to be a good year. I can see already you have a really good crop of vets coming back. Yes. <laughs> so I yeah. know that that brings in a lot of, you know, for the new players, that's always really important to yes. have that kind of backbone. How are they, and I can see it already, too, just in this practice, their intensity is already here. It First is. day of mini camp. I know, and that's fun to see, too. That's a lot of fun to see. And we got a beautiful day, which makes everyone even more pumped. Um, we've got a great schedule ahead of us. Uh, our coaching staff, we've got a, a lot of them and a lot of talent, a lot of knowledge, tons of experience. And I'm just, I'm expecting some good things this season. How do you feel about the first game against Philly? Like, how, what's, do you feel that that's an added, you know, every start of every season is gonna be some pressure, but yeah. you know, as, it, as your games have been with Philly in the past, do you feel like it, this year they might see something different that they haven't seen from the Sharks? Well, I think so, but I also think that we're going to see something from Philly that we haven't seen in the past. Um, I believe they're an entirely different team than what we've played. Um, I also understand that um, they had a very, very good team last year, and we did not play them last year. So um, I'm a little nervous about the game, but also excited because, um, you know, they're they're a, a championship team, and I'm, I'm I'm excited to go up against them. That's so cool. So this is the first year you're not in the IWFL. Correct. So now with these teams coming in for the new this new league, WFA, um, it, you know, I can see it, that it's really, you know, these teams have come and bringing in all the teams are coming in more and more. I mean, there's so many teams in the league. How do the New York Sharks stand out in this new league for this year, for 2011? Well, I think, um, I think anywhere we go, we're going to be in the top echelon of the teams. Um, there was some really talented teams in the IWFL. Um, most of them, not all, but most of the, the bigger teams went to the WFA, and you add those teams to the, the ones that are in the WFA, I think you're looking at uh, the, the top teams, you know, the top teams in the country. Um, so, again, you know, it's, it's exciting because um, if we go to playoffs, we're going to play probably the top team of each region, and, and it's, um, it's exciting to know that there's so many teams and, you know, good talent everywhere. So, uh, new head coach, Darnell Stapleton. Yes, really excited about that. Yeah. Um, he's, he's the first uh, ex-NFL player that we've had, and he has had great success with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He has a Super Bowl ring from the Steelers. Which everybody is, you know, already this morning. Yeah. When are you going to bring yeah, in bring the ring? Bring the ring, bring the ring. <laughs> I know it, I know it. Um, so, he his experience is just unprecedented. Um, then you, you throw Glenn Foley into the mix, former New York Jet quarterback, very successful there. His knowledge also is unprecedented. And he also brings with him a lot of experience in coaching um, girls, women, um, coaching clinics. I mean, he has all of that as well as being a player. Um, we have uh, Michael Pelick this year. He spent eight years in arena football. Um, we have Lynn Lewis returning. She's been in women's football for since its inception. She played as a player, um, as a coach. Um, we have Anthony Ray returning this year. He's, so he's coming back to help out. Um, we have a new guy, Greg, uh, let's see, hold on. Greg Sola. We just signed Greg Sola. Um, he's a high school coach. In fact, interesting enough, he was Darnell and Michael's coach in high, high school. school. Right, so it's like bringing the group back yeah. together. <laughs> That's uh -huh. great. That's great. Um, so, uh, and we're still looking at a couple more resumes to, yeah. to bring on. So, I, uh, this is, like I said, one of the most extensive coaching stats we, that we've had. We've had some really good ones in the past, but this one, I, I feel like it just kind of branched out branched. to another level. And I'm excited for that. It's great. Uh, we have some returning vets this year, not only the ones that we've had just steady throughout, but we have, um, yeah, I think that's a good name from the prodigal daughters. Um, uh, Val Halesworth, Missy Marmoral, 
uh, Amy Cologne, uh, Darlene Hall. Um, we've got a lot of players that had moved away and now they've come back. Uh, it's just, and that's adding to the excitement, really. Yeah. Because, you know, you see them drive up and it, it feels like old times. And it, it, it's got <laughs> old this. Old gangs back in Yeah, together. it does. And then you throw in the new ones and the ones that have been here all along. And it's, it's, uh, it's fun. It yeah. just, and you got to have fun when you play football. You got to have fun. And I just see this year as being, no matter what happens, it's, I just see it being the way it ought to be. Well, I can see the family vibe. I went to a tryout a couple weeks ago at, uh, in Columbus at the high school. And that's when I met, met Melissa and Mulligan. I met a couple of people and a few of those girls. And already just from talking to them and, and JD, and mm -hmm. you can see like the family atmosphere was just, yeah. yeah and and the fun. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, like You guys don't even know how much fun we have. And we're a family. And you can see that. It's great.